Hello, good day, and welcome back. And so I wanted to kind of set the stage for what we're going to do next. So we were doing quite a bit of videos on NATS, and that's great. And I think that, though, that's sort of enough where we've gotten to. Of course, there's a lot more that we can keep doing, right? Like I showed in the last video how to create a cluster. We can create super clusters. We can create the leaf nodes. And even with all the old clustering thing, we didn't even touch on like um, the MTT support in NATS or WebSocket. We might come back to using NATS WebSockets in a future application. But for now, I think we've sort of covered enough, enough so for you to use it in your everyday application or even, you know, your not so everyday application, or if you wanted to introduce it to your organization. So then what should we do next? At the beginning of this year, this is the plan that I laid out in terms of the topics that I'd like to cover this year. And it included NATS first, then this thing called Temporal, which is a workflow orchestration um, framework, um, application security, um, authentication authorization, and then a couple of Golang web application framework, because we haven't really delved into how to build in applications with frameworks. And then potentially Surreal database and talking about service mesh which is sort of like really big topics on their own. But those last two are sort of stretch goals anyway. I mentioned that we most likely wouldn't even get to them in 2020. Here's the change. We've already covered that, so that's taken care of. Um, in terms of what we're gonna do next, I don't think we should really do temporal now. And the reason why is I think there are very few people who are really interested in workflow orchestration. I love the idea. I mean, I love working on it. It's what I sort of do at work. Well, I'm not an individual contributor anymore, but I'm a manager now. But my, uh, at work, this is what we do, is orchestration. So it's a very fascinating topic. But I think it's a niche thing, so I think I'll push it off. I think NATS was much more useful for a wider group of people than Temporal would be. So I think I'll push that off and even push it off beyond like service mesh just because I think it's that so much of a niche thing. I still think we should do application security next. And specifically, um, we'll be talking about using JWT for, um, to carry information for authentication authorization. And we'll see a little bit more about that, right? The, uh, security is really a big topic and we could be tied on in it for a while. And I'm no security expert, so really not the person to really do delve too deeply into it. But I think JWT is gonna allow us to use the application frameworks that support JWT so that we can add security to our application. We don't want to build applications anymore without proper security. And so therefore, um, again, this is just going to be specifically for authentication authorization. All right. So that's going to be fine. After that, I think um, what I'm going to do is talk about um, web framework. But instead of doing Bud Light, which I really like, or Live Bud, I think is the name of it, um, and Buffalo, really cool. I decided to change it and do Gin instead. And I don't think everybody's going to agree with me on this, but LifeBud is this very small um, web framework. And this guy started it. I like the motivation about behind it. But if you look at terms of the how many people are using it and the pickup and so on, it's very, like, again, kind of niche, right? Like, um, what I really don't want to do is spend a lot of my time working on things where it's just one person's you know, pet project and then they get tired of it and move on. That's happened to me so many times. I don't want to waste your time either. Um, that's not to say that's the case with Buffalo. But one thing that I know with Buffalo Framework, there were at least two sub-projects where they were asking for supporters just because the guy, Matt Bates, who sort of started the project, and it has done, every project has to be started by somebody, um, he was just overwhelmed and just too busy. And so that again, sort of worried me that oh, there weren't enough people there willing to take up um, the different um, you know packages that needed um, more work and so again I wouldn't say that I would never cover Buffalo or would never use it but um, Jin seemed to be a little bit more um, active. Feel free to use whichever framework makes sense for you and there are tons of them out there for go. And then pocket base I think is really really clever what it's trying to do and so I, I really think that though there's always going to be 
a place, I think, for something like PocketBase, which is a providing the backend as a service sort of thing. And so I'll show you the couple other ones, but I think PocketBase is a simple enough one that we can look at. And maybe when we finish PocketBase, maybe we could look at some other ones. Um, there are other things that are similar, but I think that's going to be it. In terms of covering surreal database and the service mesh stuff, that's still sort of like stretch goals. So they're probably not going to happen in 2023 anyway. So most likely 2024, and we can decide when we start 2024, what it would look like. So that is the outlook of what's going to happen next. And so see you in the, the next video where we start talking about JWT. And I'm very excited to get into the co-application framework. All right. Leave messages, comments. Let me know what you think. What would you like to see? Um, make cover and then I'll put that on the list of things that we can potentially do and finally before I go in terms of supporting the channel There are a number of ways in which you can support the channel a new addition is that I have a Tesla referral link and Using a Tesla referral link if you're in the market for anything Tesla related either EV or You know solar panel or anything from Tesla um, you can use my referral link and we both benefit by both of us getting some points. All right. Take care. Be safe. Have a great day. Bye.